Hi friends, I'm Miss Maria and I am here at the Mount Airy branch of Carroll County Public Library. I'm so excited that you're here with me today for June's installment of Story Plus Sensory Bin. Today's theme I am super excited about, it is Lego blocks in ice, yes! Ice, what a super fun thing to play with on a hot summer day. And friends, before we get started, what is ice? Do you have ice at your house? Probably. Where do you keep it? Yes, in your freezer, right? Because if you leave ice out on the counter of the table, what happens? Yeah, it starts to melt. That's right, ice needs to stay below a certain temperature to stay frozen. So if you put regular water in your freezer and that water, the properties, the inside particles that we can't see of that water, when it gets below 32 degrees, it start, they, the particles start to like hold on to each other and they form a solid. And that's what we call ice. And I love it. Ice is awesome. So here we are today. Um, every sensory, story plus sensory bin program this summer is going to have a water theme because water sensory bins are easy and fun to take outside on a warm day. They're easy to clean up and I'm going to show you some great ideas of what you can do at home with just a Tupperware bin and some ice and some toys. But before we get started friends, I have a song called I'm a Little Ice Cube and it sounds a little bit like I'm a Little Teapot and I would like you to sing it with me. And it goes like this. I'm a little ice cube, cold and square. I rattle a little here and I rattle a little there. When I get all melty, watch me run. Let's play together and have some fun. Would you like to try to sing that with me one more time? I would like that. Ready? Remember how it started? Yes, I'm a little ice cube, cold and square. I rattle a little here and I rattle a little there. When I get all melty, watch me run. Let's play together and have some fun. Yay, very nice job, friends. All right, so the first part of our Story Plus Sensory Bin program is always a book. And I did not even know that this book existed until a few days ago. This is called Ice Boy by David Ezra Stein. And we can't read the whole book, but I would like to introduce you to the story and then maybe you could borrow it and read the rest of it. So this is called Ice Boy and he lives in the freezer, like your ice cubes at home, with his family. And this starts off saying Ice Boy had a normal life goofing around with his brothers and sisters, dodging the tough cubes from the back of the freezer. Hmm. So even though Ice Boy's parents said, never go outside, never go outside, Ice Boy went outside. And even though his doctor said, never go in the sun, never go in the sun, Ice Boy went in the sun. And if you can see there, he's saying, feels good. What do you think is going to happen? Hmm. In fact, he went to the beach. Ice Boy went up to the edge of the water and rolled right in. His edges began to blur. He was becoming, what do you think? Yep, Water Boy. Oh my goodness, he was becoming Water Boy. He was starting to what? melt, right? Oh my goodness, I'm not going to tell you what happens next or if he goes back to being Ice Boy. So if you would like to find out, you will have to read the book for yourself, friends. And because our program today involves ice and Legos, I grabbed a couple Lego books to show you there are millions of, of possibilities um, of, and things that you can do with Legos. This is one of my favorite books, and we have a lot of these. They're very popular. 365 things to do with Lego bricks. Let's get started. Should I read to you all 365? No. 
we would be here for days. But friends, I wanted to show you two of my favorites. This book is full of fun suggestions of like free play ideas of what you can do and make with your Legos. So here's one of my favorites. It's called Striking a Pose. And if you see someone built a ladder and a diving board and they have a Lego person and the Lego person is just standing over what's supposed to be a pool but the person used a box from home and cotton balls from home. So you and your kiddos can have endless fun just coming up with a scene that you can make with a combination of Legos and household items. Oh, and here's another cool one. Design a bedroom that you would like. I really like that one too. All you need is just a bunch of different Lego bricks. You can figure out what would be your bed, maybe your bookshelf. So there are so many things to do with Legos. You can also always use the pattern that comes with some of the kits, but if you just have a big Lego bin, there are so many things you can do. My kiddos all spent hours and days with their Legos. All right, friends, so moving on, I have an um, ice, ice in my sensory bin today, but there are other toys that you can freeze in either ice cubes or Tupperware containers, and it just took me a day or two to freeze over. Um, um, you could use grass clippings, you can use sequins, buttons, plastic animal figures, really anything that would freeze successfully in an ice cube um, or in a large bowl or small bowl. It is super fun. So once you have your frozen items, and I have my frozen Legos here, um, for my bin today, three big, and I'll, I'll hold them up in a minute, three big clumps of frozen ice with Legos inside. Let's see what that looks like. So it's super cool. And here's a smaller one that I froze some sharks. I made like an ocean scene with some seaweed and sharks and that's frozen too. So the best way to play with a, a Legos in ice sensory bin, just grab a couple kitchen utensils. I also have some, uh, an ice cream scoop, some loose ice cubes, some loose Legos, and then maybe a, a toy or an implement that could help to start chipping away at the ice. So really, it feels good because it's nice and cold. You can hear the ice rattling around. It looks super cool. So there are so many, so many senses being involved here. Another idea that I saw for an ice sensory bin, if it's taking a long time and you're chiseling away and the kiddo is starting to get frustrated that the toys are stuck in the ice, all you need is a cup of warm water you can either pour directly, or if you have a medicine dropper, that's great exercise for those little fingers to drop warm water right onto the ice, and then everything will start to slowly melt. But like I said, there are so many things that you could safely freeze, and then the kiddos can play with this inside or outside for hours. It's a great rainy day activity, and show you one more time everything I have included in mine. I would love to hear if you come up with your own uh, frozen sensory bin. I would love to hear what you tried the next time you're here at the library. For today, I thank you for joining me and I hope to see you next month for Story Plus Sensory Bin, which is going to be called Duck Pond. So, so thank you again and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.